Welcome back. A while ago, you might remember I did a video on falling objects, and there'll be a link for you if you want to look at that one. And we came to the interesting conclusion that all objects fall at the same rate in a gravitational field. In other words, if I drop a light thing or a heavy thing, they hit the ground at the same time. But I ended the video by saying it doesn't quite work if you do it with certain objects. And with a piece of paper or perhaps a feather, we seem to get a different result. And it's that I'd like to investigate today. So let's have a bit of a recap of what we did in the last video. I took a light nut and a very heavy nut and I released both of them at the same time and the surprising result was they both hit the ground at the same time. It also works if you drop a piece of paper. So I'll just pick up one of the nuts and here's the piece of paper, turn it into a little ball. And as you might expect, the light piece of paper and this slightly heavier metal nut hit the ground at the same time. But of course, if you take the piece of paper and you don't crumple it up and you let go of them, you get a completely different result. And it's that that I want to look into in detail today. So we noticed from that experiment that if we screwed up the piece of paper, it seemed to fall at exactly the same rate as quite a heavy piece of metal. But if we left the paper flat and uncrumpled up, it didn't fall at quite the same rate. It sort of got left behind. And this, as you probably know, is because of drag or air resistance. It's a little bit like the effect that happens on a parachute. Its large surface area causes the air to get in the way, create a force upwards, and that therefore reduces the total force on the object, and it won't fall with quite the same acceleration. So, I wonder what happens if we remove the air. To do this experiment, we need a vacuum. So, I've got a tube here, and it's quite a famous experiment. It's called the guinea and feather experiment, which dates it somewhat. But here's our feather, and we'll put that in the tube. And I haven't got a real guinea, but I've got a spade guinea, so um, that's pretty authentic. Um, they used to be gold coins, of course, but these were just gold-plated. And we'll put that in the tube, and then what we need to do is evacuate the tube so there's no air in the way, and see whether the feather falls at the same rate as the coin. Before we do the experiment with a vacuum in this tube, let's just do it open to the atmosphere so it's got air in it. I'll just put my hand on the end to stop the uh, coin and feather falling out, and we'll just invert it and see how they fall. So I think you can see that the feather gets left behind. So let's remove the air now and see what happens. Right, I've got my vacuum pump set up and I've got the tube with the guinean feather in it. So let's switch on the vacuum pump and give it a few moments just to remove as much air as possible from the plastic tube. So I've left the vacuum pump running and we should have a vacuum in here now. I'm going to leave it connected just in case it's leaking a bit of air. But now we've got a vacuum in the tube, let's turn it upside down and see what happens with the guinean feather. And I think you can see from that, both of them fall at the same rate. So there we go. If we remove the air from the tube, it's falling in a vacuum. There's no air resistance, no drag. So the two objects will fall at exactly the same rate on Earth at about 10 meters per second per second. As soon as we put air back in the tube, of course, the feather, which is quite light and very spread out, has a large surface area, will feel a lot of drag and will get left behind and the coin will fall ahead of it. It's an interesting experiment and one, I guess, that was remembered by a famous astronaut, uh, Commander David Scott on Apollo 15, um, did this experiment when he was on the moon at the end of one of his moonwalks and he dropped a feather and a geological hammer. And it's quite interesting to see them fall on the moon. You might want to Google that because, of course, the gravitational field strength is a bit weaker, so they don't fall at the same rate they would at Earth, but the feather goes down absolutely at the same time as the hammer and both of them, because they feel no air resistance, hit the ground at the same time. So... I hope you enjoyed that experiment and I look forward to seeing you again next time. <laughs>